Okay, we're going to talk again today about refining your topic or deciding what topic you are going to write about for your paper. Okay, and you, you may have heard my speech before on this. I would do this in conjunction with searching databases, library databases. As you're doing this, it's very possible, highly likely, your instructor wants to see you using resources from the library's uh, databases instead of just Googling it. Uh, as much as you may not like that, that's the requirements of the course usually. And it, it it doesn't really do a lot of good to come up with a wonderful topic and refine it all in your head or on paper or using a Word document or talking with your instructor. That's great, but then the last step, you've probably experienced this before, you go to do the research and you can't find any research on your topic. And then you're just stuck with this topic that you can't find any research on, and I've seen this so many times. So what I would recommend, refine your topic, kind of narrow down your what you want to write about while you're working with the databases to make sure that there's actually something out there before you really, really zero in on this topic. Make sure there's going to be research to back it up or you're going to be in such a difficult position. Many of you have experienced this before. Okay, what I would do from the library website, <clears throat> I would bypass this search box. I would go directly to the advanced search option right here so that I can really work on this search and kind of sculpt things. So I'm going to click into advanced search and my assignment is to write something about the field that I'm going to go into and talk about an opportunity or a challenge in there. So let's say I'm interested in healthcare. Now here's a little trick. I'm going to do healthcare or medicine. You'll see, and just get a huge search, there's going to be just a ton of stuff. Oh my goodness, 29 million articles. Okay. That's okay. Now we're going to start narrowing this down. Let's think about a challenge that's going on. Uh, in healthcare right now, a challenge or, or an opportunity, right? So the obvious one would be this, COVID, or pandemic. Notice how I use those ors, okay? I'm telling this or this and this or this, and notice how I'm doing separate boxes here. So I'm gonna see, I bet you there's a lot of research on that too. Okay, now see how much it narrowed it down just doing that. So. It, it narrows it down so much when you start adding some of the things. Okay, so there's obviously just so much out there on this. Let's narrow this down to, well, let's maybe first off just look at the years. Let's say 2000, let's go 2020, 2020. Let's narrow this right down to our current pandemic years. Okay, there's still just a ton of stuff. So let's go to the next level here. Let's do vaccines, okay? now. Thing about vaccine, it could be vaccine, it could be vaccination, it could be vaccines. Let's do this. Let's go to where the spelling might change for that vaccine, vaccination. The spelling would change right after that, and we're going to put an asterisk right there. Okay. I'm going to run this search. Notice I'm leaving these boxes alone. I like what's in there. I'm not going to mess with these boxes. These are conditions I already like. So then I move on to the next box. That's why I go directly to the advanced search because I want to do a lot more that can be done with just one search box. Okay, so I do look really good. Now, I want to get uh, more specific with this now. Let's say, and if you run out of boxes here, you can always add more boxes right here. Take boxes away, okay? Say healthcare or medicine. I want that, I want one of those terms to be in the subject, at least in the subject. Don't just search everything. Take it down to the subject. Okay, now we're down, that took it down quite a bit. And let's say COVID or pandemic has to be in the title. And I'm just experimenting here. I mean, this is a good topic. There's there's so much out there on this. And how about uh, vac some version of vaccine has to be in the title as well. And, um, starting to look great. There's still, I have so much here. I could add another box here. How about uh, hesitancy? Okay. But I'm going to put an asterisk right there for hesitant or hesitancy, any version of that word. And I'm just experimenting and I'm just kind of brainstorming here, just seeing what's out there. Okay. 596. Okay. What if we say hesitancy, some version of that word has to be in the title as well. And I'm just experimenting. This is 
Before I really narrow down on the topic, I want to make sure what I'm talking about, there's plenty of research. Okay, so at this point, if I wanted to write about vaccine hesitancy, and I just kind of developed this topic because I was brainstorming here and doing some searches, there's obviously going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of research on this. This is not going to be a problem at all. And I could keep narrowing this down. Uh, I could say, just give me the scholarly peer-reviewed research if I wanted to. But bottom line, this, this is not going to be hard at all. To write about this topic. There is so much research out there on this topic. And I could I can safely say this is going to be a great topic for me to write about at this point. But I did this in conjunction with running searches to make sure there's research. And I see 101 articles, even with those very specific parameters I set. So there's an example of how you would narrow it down and find a topic. And I think you could write a good paper on the challenge and the opportunity with vaccine hesitancy with the pandemic. There you go. Let me know if you have any questions as always. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.